Musings. Yes, he is mine. John 20, verses 24 through 29. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We've seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. Today's verses give the account from which we get the name Doubting Thomas. The disciples had seen the risen Christ, but Thomas was not there, and when they told him, he didn't believe it. However, when Thomas saw Christ for himself, he said something very interesting, my Lord and my God. The two words, my, are translations of the same Greek word, a word which conveys personal possession. He is not just Lord in the general sense, he is my Lord. He is not just God, he is my God. Whether he is your personal Lord and God or not, he is mine, Thomas was saying. If I may say so reverently, there's a general impersonal sense in which Jesus is Lord and God. He is Lord and God simply because those are the facts of reality. However, a person can acknowledge that that is true and still not enter into a personal my relationship with Christ, one in which they deliberately, willingly embrace his lordship and deity. According to Philippians 2, verses 10 through 11, a time will come when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. In that day, that truth will be imposed upon all mortals even upon those who have rebelled until it is too late. Have you welcomed him as your Lord and your God, or are you waiting until it is no longer your choice to make?